Hey Alexa, ask Pet Cube to treat my dog. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Pet Cube Bites 2. They did send me this product review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or finding out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Also, check out my other Pet Cube review videos on my channel as well. Here's how this comes packaged to in a really nice and simple retail box. We can rotate it around so you can see the back side as well. We also have some more instructions on this side. And then there's the front side right there. A couple key features about this product before we open it up. It features a 1080p full HD camera, 160 degree viewing wide angle lens, a built-in treat dispenser, two-way audio, night vision, sound and motion detection, and it has Alexa built into the device. So now let's go ahead, let's look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we got some product information for you and a one page quick start guide with the QR code. You can download and install the PetCube app on iOS and Android devices. Next up, we have multiple stickers. We have your USB power cord right here and it has a type C end on it. We have your USB wall plug right here with the PetCube branding US version. And we can see where the USB plugs in. We have some portion control options right here. We have the large size and the small size right here. We already have the medium size installed in the device. We have your wall hanging kit right here. So we got some wall anchors and screws. Next, we have 150 crunchy mini bites. So they do include dog treats for us, which is really nice. And then last but not least, we have the Pet Cube Bites 2 Pet Treat Dispenser right here. Let's look at this in a little bit more detail. So here's the front of the Pet Cube Treat Dispenser. I really like the design. We got your black and then your silver contrasting each other with this nice industrial look, but it also has a really nice modern and clean look as well. So you can see their logo. We can see our camera and all of our sensors down here along with our treat dispenser. And this is made out of aluminum. So it's really nice. We got plastic and then aluminum at the base. We can turn it over to this side. You can see the release if we want to take the treat compartment off. On the back, we reveal our two holes if we want to mount this on the wall right there. So that looks really nice, really cool. Here's the other side as well with our other clip to release the treat compartment. But we also have our USB type C port down here to plug it in and give this device power. Now pay attention, it's nice that they designed this on the side so you can mount this on the back and not have to worry about the power cable or anything else like that. Now let's go ahead, let's remove the top part. So we just push it in and there goes the top half that keeps the treats in it for us. So we can see we got a big hole at the bottom, it's gonna store all the treats. Now you can see we have the treat dispenser itself and we can take the medium sized limiter out if we want. So depending on what portions we want to allow, we could put the large in there and they just go right in like that or we could go back to the medium or do the small one as well. So that's really easy to limit those portions. You can see the treats will come in and then they'll get dispensed out right there. We're gonna keep the medium in for now. Let's go ahead, let's put this back on. It just clips right into place and we can remove the top as well. So they have a nice seal on it right there and you can access it from both sides and we can look down in there now. So you can see, you're gonna fill up this with treats. So you can fill it up and then they got that nice seal to keep them fresh and you're all ready to go to use the treat dispenser for your pets. Now on your iOS or Android devices, go ahead, get the Pet Cube app downloaded and let's set it up. So the Pet Cube Bytes 2 is plugged in and we have the Pet Cube app downloaded on our mobile device. Once you sign in, you'll be at this home screen right here where we need to add a camera. So go ahead, select that. We can view all their products right here. So they got the Bytes 2, the Play 2, the Bytes, the Play, and the camera. Let's select the Bytes 2. Now we need to make sure it's plugged in. We need to hit Next. Now we need to confirm that we have a green blinking LED light right there, which we do. I wanna point out too, this will work with 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks or five gigahertz Wi-Fi networks, which is nice. So you can be on either one with your router. Go ahead, hit Next. Now it needs to access our device's location. 
So let's go ahead, let's keep it while in use. And now it's using Bluetooth to find our device. There it is, guys. It found our device right there. So let's go ahead, let's select it. It's selected, now we can hit next. So it's obtaining PetCube data for us. So now it's instructing us to sign into our Wi-Fi network. Go ahead, select your network and connect to it. Now that we've connected, it's gonna finish setting up the device for us. So there we go, setup's complete. Now we can go ahead and select done. And now we can connect it with Amazon Alexa as well. So let's go ahead, let's enable Alexa while we're here. Again, this does have built-in Amazon Alexa. So now here we go, we can skip or get started. So let's go ahead, let's hit skip. And let's activate it now. So we need to sign in with our Amazon credentials for Alexa and we can activate this device. So there we go guys, it just successfully set everything up and now it's fully integrated. You can even see we have a specific command as well to use with the PetCube device if we wanna treat our pet. But we can also use this like any other Amazon Alexa device. Now let's go ahead, let's hit done. So now the camera's added to our home screen within the PetCube app, so we can go ahead, we could select share settings, actual settings, mic on or off for Alexa, and then we have our care sleep as well. Let's hit the settings menu really quick in the top left hand corner. We can view more options right here, so we can see our username. We have an alarm bell in the right hand side, we can select that to view notifications if we have any. Then we have play as well, so we can see adoptable pets, public feeds too. Then we can go to the feed tab. So if we have friends and we add our friends here, we can see stuff right there. And then we have our explore tab. So we could make some new friends and we can see other people's photos that they publicly share, like Instagram. So it looks really nice, really cool. You can even have hashtags. So look at the great pictures we're seeing. It's really fun to see people using their pet cube devices right there. Then we can find our friends too. We could sync this up with our contacts. Now let's go ahead, let's just tap on that play icon to bring us into the camera. So here we go, we got the horizontal view right now. So we can see the studio right here. So we could swipe up to fling a treat. There's no treats in it right now. We'll do some treats in a minute. We can speak as well too. So just tap to start speaking and tap again to mute. So the camera audio pauses while you speak. Then we have our photo and video settings in the bottom right hand corner. We have our zoom as well right there. So you can see it's zooming in for us. And then we have some dots in the right hand corner so we can turn sound on or off. And then we can have night vision settings right there. We can have night vision on, off, or auto. So that's really nice guys, really easy controls. So let's go ahead, let's just turn it on me for a second. So we can point it up. And now let's go ahead, let's snap a picture. So we gotta allow it. To do that, there we go. So we just tap the picture, we can hit done or we could share it. And then we can take a video as well. There's no built-in memory card or anything like that. So all this memory is just being stored on our mobile device. So we're taking the video. Now we can hit stop and it's saved to our phone's gallery as well. We can see that zoom feature again. So really a cool camera, really easy to set up. Now let me go ahead, let's put some treats in it. Let's fling a treat while we're down here. Then I'll get my dog Doug and we'll try it out with him upstairs. So now we put a couple of treats in the dispenser. Let's go ahead, let's fling them so you can see how this works. So we can go ahead, we can select the treat icon right there. And now we just fling the treat. So the shorter distances that we move, the shorter the treat will go, or we can fling it really far if we swipe all the way up to fling the treat. So let's just do a tiny one. So let's go ahead, there we go. It's gonna fling it, there we go, wow. So it shot one treat here and the other treat, you can't even see it, it's off camera, it almost fell off my table right here. Let's have some fun, let's do it one more time and let's fling it as far as we can. Wow, wow that was amazing. That went whoop, shot way out, definitely about twice the distance of the one that just made it right off camera right there. So we can fling treats really far. We're gonna have a lot of fun with my dog, Doug.
fling in some treats for him in a second. Now that we're still in the studio, let's go ahead, let's test out the two-way audio so you guys can hear the mic quality and let's try it out with night vision. So we got all the studio lights turned off right now and we can go ahead, we can change it to night vision from auto to night vision on. And now you guys can see the quality right there. So it looks really good. It was actually doing a really good job in that low light environment as it was. But now you can see everything's really detailed so you can spy on your pets at night. Let's go back. Let's turn it off. So there we go again. It's doing a good job in the low light environment right here. But night vision definitely does a really good job to help make everything a lot clearer for you and to provide you with even more detail. Now we're going to test out the two-way audio. So we're testing the audio out on the Pet Cube by Stu. This is the two-way audio so you can hear how everything sounds coming through the built-in speaker. So your pet can listen to you while you're out of the house or at work. So you can give it instructions. You can tell it to stop doing something or you can call it over so you can get its attention to give it a treat and see it on camera. So I really like the two-way audio feature. That built-in speaker sounds really good. We can see too, we can change some of those settings in the top right-hand corner here within the camera. So that purple box, hit that settings gear icon. Now you can see we can view our share settings for friends, family, or the public. We can also view our notifications for motion and sound detection if we want to turn those on in the sensitivity. If our dog's barking, our cat's meowing, our cat's crying, that sort of thing, we can change the sensitivity and turn the detection on or off. We also have our care settings. If we want to have a care plan, it does have a monthly fee and subscription, but you can view those settings right there and even get a free trial if you want. Then we have Amazon Alexa. We can turn it on and we can disable it right here. We can see the commands again and we can sign out. Then we have our general settings so we can change our Wi-Fi. We have night vision settings again. We have the sound for the camera so we can adjust that volume. As you can see, it's been really low for the video. Sound alert, two-way audio, then we can go back. And my favorite feature of this device is the treat schedule right here. So we could turn that on. We can pick a time. So say we wanna do like, you know, a morning treat at 6.30, we could hit okay. It's every day of the week. Say we only want it while we're gone at work. There we go, and then we can choose, do we want to fling close, mid, or long in distance, and then the serving count, one, two, three, or four. So maybe for the breakfast one, you know, sure, let's give them four, that'd be fun, a little breakfast treat. So we could just slide that over right there, all the way to four if we want, and then we could do maybe medium, that might be good, to do the medium one. And then we could add another one, say, for lunchtime, you kind of get the idea but we can also delete them too. If you wanna change the schedule or remove a time, you can just swipe to the left to reveal the trash can to delete it. So there we go, that's set up too. And then we have their customer support and we can disconnect the camera as well. So this is packed full of a lot of great features. Just for fun, let's go ahead, let's try out Amazon Alexa while we're down here. Hey Alexa, what's the temperature? So there we go. Alexa works great. I really like the built-in functionality we get for having Alexa integrated to this device. Now let's have Alexa dispense a treat for us. Hey Alexa, ask PetCube to treat Fido. Here we go. There we go. And she even says Bon Appetit, so it flung some treats out for us, guys. That's awesome. Really, really cool. Really like that feature a lot. Now let's go ahead, let's get my dog Doug, and let's try it out with him and see how he likes it. So we got the Pet Cube Bites 2 set upstairs now, and you can see we got two dogs in the shot right there. We got Dougie the doggy. He's laying down between the couch and the coffee table. And we got Roscoe the brown lab who just left the screen. Let's go ahead, let's throw some treats at him. So again, we just select the treat icon right there and we're all ready to go once we have that bone on the screen. And the further away you swipe, the further the treats will go. So Roscoe's getting the treats right now. Let's throw another one. Maybe Dougie will be motivated to get up and get this one. All right, it just threw it. Nope, Roscoe's gonna get it. And we actually have Charlie, a third dog. He's in the bottom left-hand corner laying down. He's too tired to even get up for a treat. Let's fling one really far and see where it goes. There we go, just hit Roscoe. He's loving it. So Doug's just really tired too. 
We'll see if we can fling one more. Maybe Doug will get it. All right, nope. Roscoe's gonna get that one as well. So it's really nice, it's really cool. And again, we can snap photos. We could zoom in if we wanted to. So you can see we could go all the way in. Let's go look at Dougie some more. So there's max zoom at 300%. And then we can zoom back out. Okay, we'll throw one more treat, it's just too fun. All right, so just flung the treat. I didn't hear it though, so I don't think anything came out then. There we go. There it flung another one. So it's really cool, guys. Again, we got photos, video options. We can talk to the dogs as well right there. And we even have the treat level indicator too, showing us that it's running low. So after using this for a little while, there's a couple of features I'd like to see improved upon in the future. They have to do with the camera. So I really wish they gave you camera controls within the app so we could adjust the brightness, the exposure, the resolution. It'd be really nice to be able to have those options. And the second thing I want to point out is every once in a while within the app, you can see right here, it just loses signal and gives me this spinning wheel icon, even though nothing's changed. As soon as I exit out of the app and open it back up, everything works great again. So the app has some stability issues, but it's not bad overall. And you can just exit out and open it back up. I may need to do an update and a couple more things to make that work properly. But every once in a while, I do notice that the app spins for a while. There's nothing I can do. So you can see I can exit out of it. It'll take me back to this screen. It may or may not load. There we go. So it gives me this ad, which I wanna point out, I wish they never showed this ad. I understand that they're trying to advertise their service, but every time you exit out of the full screen, I swear this ad pops up and it just bothers me that they kind of bug you with this full screen and you have to take an extra step to get rid of it. So you can see I said maybe later, and then we have another option right there and then it finally goes back to the screen and now it's gonna work great. So you can see I can just tap on it again and it's gonna pull it right up, no issues at all. So I don't know why it does that sometimes and those mobile ads are annoying. Like I said, I wish they maybe just tucked it away in a banner on the home screen at the bottom. So if you did wanna take them up on those offers, you could click it, but not putting it on the full screen would be really a nice option since you pay for this product, right? So you wanna be able to use it without any disruptions. So I'd love to see some of those things tweaked in the future, but I really like this product. It's really nice. It's so fun to throw those treats. It does a great job, whether it's a short distance or a long distance. We could throw treats all the way to the door and the zoom's nice too. I think I pointed that out earlier, but it's fun to be able to zoom into and see your pet snoozing and just having a good time. So if you're interested in this product, guys, the link to it is in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Hit that like button for us. Subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily. Don't want you to miss anything. And please give us a follow online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website, join our free newsletter, guys. Follow us on Twitch and join our Discord server as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. New content daily, and we can't wait to see you in our next video.